Buddy Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Anime Nerdigan Live Reaction video is going to be for Captain Tsubasa 2018 Episode 4 titled Tsubasa and Roberto. And man, David Productions, you did not make my job easy this week. Um, because what they did was they gave us a lot of filler and finding the placement of where we're starting this week's manga to anime adaptation was a pain in the ass. And I'm kind of torn on the filler because on one hand like it's a really good setup to what we're getting this week because like we get to see Subasa, um you know kicking the soccer ball down the street and um something we're getting this week is uh Roberto teaching um the kids how to become friends with the ball so I totally understand why we got that and then the other thing um we got after the opening song was uh you know Subasa wearing the jersey and stuff like that and we saw Roberto with the medical report and um putting the flask down and that's a good setup as well because we're gonna find out about Roberto's medical condition and why he can't play soccer anymore so like I, I like that setup too so I'm kind of torn on the filler because like on the opposite side we could have just started with the adaptation of like ch page 26 of chapter 3 and just like had a little bit of a recap um, before the opening song so I'm just kind of torn on the filler uh, right now but where we're but as I said where we're starting this week adaptation wise is uh, page 26 of chapter 3 and where it is uh, in the anime um, is at the four minute two second mark of uh, yeah about like the four minute four minute two second mark um, that's where we're at where the manga canon uh, starts so without further ado let's get to it and this is why I like and this is why I love David Productions is that they're comp and what they're doing here is they're compensating for the filler and I like that they actually do that it's not like what Studio Periot does with their filler they can't and what uh, especially oh oh Blue Exorcist I fucking hate you and oh, hate what they did with Blue Exorcist anime oh in Studio Periot you fucking ruined Twin Star Exorcist too oh my god Studio Harriot, why did you ruin them? But Black Clover, Black Clover, they've actually improved. I know Studio Periot could give us good manga to anime adaptations, writing-wise, if they actually try. You see what? I see what you're doing here with this filler. Lots of foreshadowing going on here. But at the same time, it's like, dude, David Productions. Speed up the pacing a little bit. I, I want to be able to get. We need to get to the tournament. I want. There's characters we need to see. We. I want to see Taro this week. Please, please. I want to see Taro this week. I feel like I. That's like the one thing that I can't stand about this filler right now. It's like they're slowing down the pacing and there's there's characters I want to see this week. It's killing me right now. Can you speed it up just a little bit? Please? Please speed it up? Oh, okay. So the content that we skipped last week, the stuff about the sports tournaments, we're covering that right now. And this is like um, about the 7 minute 30 second mark. Okay. I'm glad we're... I'm fine with, with you covering this, David Productions. But God damn. I swear to God. If you are not going to cover, if you're not going to cover Roberto's condition, and you're just going and, and you're not going to show us certain characters this week, I'm going to be really mad. You need to speed speed it up a little bit. Speed up the pacing. This is getting ridiculous. David Productions, I know. You are showing off beautiful animation right now. And you have been buttering me up. 
past few episodes. God damn it. You are starting to get a slow. You are starting to get really slow right now. Please speed it up, god damn it. Finally. Finally, we are getting to the good stuff. Getting getting to the good stuff. We're getting to the diagnosis and shit. And where and this is uh, starting out about the eight minute forty second mark. We're, and by the way, we're still we're still a manga canon for the most part. They added a little bit of filler with the rest of like the school activities. Um, but then like the stuff about like the cheerleading going to check out the football team and shit. Like for the most part that was canon. But you but you know, the football team sucking that was kind of skipped, but I understand why that was skipped. But now we're really back into the good month canon which starts on page 29 of chapter 3 and this is at the 8 minute 40 second mark correction it's not the page 29 it's page 28 sorry i fucking skipped a page by accident <laughs> where's roberto's hat this is at the 9 minute 53 second mark where's roberto's hat we're, do, we're doing good now. We're getting back on track, but we better get, get the diagnosis read here. Don't we'll be mad here. We're, doing, we're getting better now. We we'll want this diagnosis read. Yes, 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 yes. Here we go. Starting at the 10 minute second mark. Here is the bad news the diagnosis. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, the 10 minute, 24 second mark when Roberto got kicked in the head. Oh, oh my god, that negative contrast. Oh, David Productions. Ooh, you are trying to outdo Major Second right now. Now this shit right here. Right here, this is the shit I want to see when we get injuries. This is the shit I want to see when, when Subasa gets injured, when, um, when, uh, oh my god, Wakabayashi gets injured. Oh, this is the kind of animation I want to see. Oh, and as we go into like the 10 minute 31 second mark and we get that close up. Oh, oh man, David Productions, you are making up for this filler and the slow pacing. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Oh my god, now this. Oh my god, when when we get this injury, when we, when we get the like the injury to uh Subasa's shoulder and to like his leg, oh my god, I want this is the kind of animation I want and we get like like we get the contrast and then we get the close up. Oh god, this is what I want. You better make this happen. Make it happen, David Productions. I know you can do it. You need to do this. I don't care that Tsubasa is not playing as Roberto's finishing up. Or as the, you know, the, um, the diagnosis is finishing up. I do not freaking care. I just, my God, the, and, oh my God. I just can't get over the animation for this, in, these injuries. Like, um, when he, oh my God, when I, I'm just thinking, oh, there's another one I'm thinking of in particular. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. But there's a player um, that uh, I can't remember his name because there's so many fucking players that get freaking hurt. But you know what I'm talking about? The player that has the heart condition, when his heart, when his heart starts, like when the heart condition flares up, just imagine that negative contrast, the animation. And we get, and, like, we get the close-up of his heart. Oh my God. Just imagine that. Oh my God, David Productions. If we get to that point in the manga, which I think we will, oh, just imagine that. Oh my God, David Productions, you have restored my faith. You have restored my faith in how you're going to animate the injuries. Because I was, because remember, I was worried about how the injuries were going to be animated. Um, this season because we had a little bit of censorship with the blood, but God damn. Oh, how you're going to, uh, as soon as we saw the shit with how, with how Roberto got his injuries got animated. Oh man. 
Oh man, I'm so hyped. Oh man, I, like I know it's bad that I'm hyped for injuries, but god damn, this shit looks so cool. Oh god. And I'm just seeing the playing and everything. Oh my god, I am so hyped for this tournament right now. You guys have no idea how hyped I am for the tournament. My god. I'm really fucking hyped for this tournament right now. Oh my god, I'm hyped for Oh man, I am hyped for like uh like oh my god, I know we're going to see Wakabayashi get hurt. Oh, pretty Oh man, I can't wait to see Wakabayashi get hurt. I can't wait to see Taro get hurt. Oh my god, when Taro gets like that ink, that foot injury. Oh my god, it's going to look so cool to see. I know again, I know it's bad that I can't wait to see injuries, but god David Productions, how, how do you do anime injuries that cool? I don't understand what it is. Because I know you animate, like the way they did uh, did um, animated JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, like the injuries in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure was fucking fantastic. But God, this is what, uh, but, uh, I have to mention this right now. That when I say like innovation in, and creativity in my manga to anime adaptations, this is exactly what I'm talking about. God damn it, I want to get to this tournament. Damn it, hurry up. David Productions, please, we need to hurry. We need to get to this tournament, like, now. We need to get to the tournament. We need to see Taro. We need to get to the fucking tournament, like, ASAP. But this needs to happen by episode 10. We need to be in this fucking tournament. We need to be there by episode 10. I swear to God, I am, or, like... We need to be at the like pretty close to the start of this tournament by episode 10. I'm getting really impatient. <laughs> you can tell I'm really impatient right now. I just want to get to this tournament so bad. I want to see this tournament animated so goddamn bad. Just based on like based on what we're seeing, like seeing how you know, um, how uh, how like the so the actual soccer play is being executed, but, like the passing between, um. Uh, Subasa and um, and Roberto and how we saw like how we saw like the catches and shit with uh, Wakabayashi just like seeing this shit is just getting me so hyped for this tournament I just want to see it already okay you uh, why okay David Productions I'm gonna wait a little longer for this but you better not skip the rest of Roberto's their um narration or it slashes inner monologue i will be really mad if you skip it because that's kind of important yay more 80s music oh and by the way if you are not watching major second for those that aren't major second is doing 80s music too they did 80s music this past week and First thing I thought of was Captain Zubasa. I was like, damn it, Major Second, you are really trying to compete with Major Zub uh, with uh, Captain Zubasa with the 80s music. God, when they're starting to play the welcoming match, and this is so, like, a lot of this dialogue is goddamn filler. When they're starting to play the welcoming match against the Captain Zubasa, like the music, it sounds like something it would e that would either be like it's Super Smash Brothers or Pokemon. <laughs> Shoko Kiki no Soma and Captain Tsubasa this like there's been a lot of like Nintendo like music this week <laughs> I don't understand it god damn it this really sounds like the <laughs> Pokemon or Zelda it really does I'm sorry it really does oh my god this fucking goal at like the 16 minute 20, starting at the 16 minute 29 second part. <gasps> oh my god, it is so cool. It looks like this spot fire with Subasa and can't fit. I don't care that this is filler right now. I really don't. It's so goddamn cool. I really fucking don't. Well, it's somewhat filler, because some of it is in here. Some of it, like some of this is in um, in the manga. It's just I, this is why I don't mind this filler that much because like it, it, it we get to actually see the entire game. But goddamn, 
Like, this shit is so cool. Oh, I fucking... Oh, my God. Oh, it's just killing me because I want to get to this tournament. Oh, but God damn. You've got to speed up this pacing. In some ways, like, I'm, I'm just like, David Productions, you've got to speed up the pacing. But at the same time, I'm just like, oh, I'm enjoying this. I'm, I'm really enjoying this episode so much. I really love it. I love it so much, but just like, I just want to get to the tournament, I want to see, there's characters I want to see already, but we're not going to yet, and it's killing me. I want you Nerdigans to pause it at the 16 minute, 32 second mark. Look how, f look at that fucking ball go into the goal, look at, look how, look at, it's like a fucking fire, it looks like a goddamn comet. Oh my god, it looks so cool. It just really, oh god, I really want to get to this tournament. I mean, I don't know if I'm the only one that wants to get to the tournament really bad, but god damn, look at this. And this, this right here, this frame here alone, makes you really, it makes, like, it makes you really think, god damn, this is like the best anime of, of the fucking season. You cannot deny this. Sane's in love. Sane's in love. But like, they, I don't mind the writing change. Um, but this is what it was supposed to be. Um, where is it? Shit. Um, fuck. I lost my. Uh, here we go. It's supposed to be, and you know, this is, this one is great. Even if I don't know that much about soccer, I could see that. It's as if the ball, uh, he and the ball are one. I think that, I think it was skipped. If it wasn't, please let me know in the comment section, because I think it was skipped. But God damn it. David Productions, please have the rest of Roberto's inner monologue at the end of this episode. If you don't, I'm going to be so mad at you. But why aren't they exhausted? What the shit? They're supposed to be exhausted. That like, cause it literally says, and this is at the um 17 minute 30 second mark. It says right here. It says my body is not moving anymore. I'm completely exhausted. And and that's a Br Brazilian coach, all right. Um, what what where the fuck is this? Where where is this? Why are we, oh, what? Why are we skipping to the Wakabayashi content? And this is like on um, about page 51 of uh, chapter three. What, what the fuck? Oh my God. Ah. <sighs> Now we got the exhausted part. Thank you. This was about, where did I say it was? And this is at the 1838 sec, uh, second mark. Um, we This was at about page 30. Yeah, it was page 37. Now we're there. Thank God. I was worried. Oh my God, but please just give us the rest of Roberto's narration. Oh my God. Dave Productions, don't do this. Don't, 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 don't do this. Don't do this. I swear to God, don't, don't be, don't do this, please. <sighs> okay, what I mean is, what David Productions is doing is what a lot of anime studios have been doing, which is they're trying to appease the feminists by including fem the female character as much as possible. And it really makes me hate the female character, even though, even though I kind of was met on Sane. And you're, oh God, you're really going to make me hate Sane, Dave Productions. Oh, you're doing, especially, the, you're doing what, an, an example would be what Shoko Geki no Soma did with um, Megumi uh, in the first half of season three. Don't do this. Don't do this, Dave Productions. I swear to God, do not do this. Please, please do not do this. Sonny, just go the fuck away. Please, please just go the fuck away.
fuck away. Oh my god. Dear Productions, please don't tell me you're falling under the, the feminist movement right now. Oh my god. Please don't. You've been doing so well. Please don't do this. Please don't make me hate you right now. You've been doing so well. Anime gods, why are you doing this? You don't have your, you don't see TMS Entertainment doing this with Yamushi Pedal. You don't have them like shoving um the fem uh the female character that like I can't remember her name off the top of my head. But you don't have her being hurt. You don't have the female characters being shoved down her throats. You don't have it in um even though Sak Sa uh, Sakura does um. Uh, even though she actually does get on the baseball team in Major Second, you don't see her being shoved down our throats in Major Second. So why are you doing this, David Productions? Just tell me why. Tell me why. I know Platinum. I know Platinum Vision is doing it with Tyra. They are, and it really pisses me off. And trust me, I've been giving them shit for it. They've been shoving Tyra's storyline down our throats. There's no reason for them to do that. God damn it, there, uh, there is no reason for you to do this, David Productions. I'm mad as fuck at you right now for doing this shit. Oh my god, Sane, shut the fuck up. Ishizaki, thank you. Thank you for telling Sane to shut up. Thank you. Thank you, David Productions. You redeemed yourself at the end of this episode. And by the way, the animation at the end of this episode was fucking perfect. Okay, so I... I I really like the way this episode ended. I like that we had the narration, um, uh, Roberto's narration at the end of this episode. I, I, I like how you did that. That was really, really nice. It was perfect. Okay, so here's my issue. I'm going to talk, well, you know what? Let me talk about the good things about the, this episode. Then I'll get to the bad stuff. The animation for this episode was really, really nice. I really am getting hyped for the inj as I said, getting hyped up for the injuries of this episode. If it's anything like how Roberto, uh, how we saw Roberto got injured, oh man, I'm really, really hyped for how the injuries are going to be done in uh, as, um, in this series. I kind of, I'm, I kind of want like a balance of that and how Yamushi pedal has been doing injuries um our tms entertainment has been doing in injuries but if we're gonna get shit like how roberto got injured and like what i mean is like the contrast and then get like a um a close-up of where the injury is i'm totally down with that yes it might be a little bit censored but it looks really cool and little and really creative so i'm totally down with that um, I really loved Subasa, how Subasa scored the goal this week. I'm really liking how um, how uh, creative how um, how Tava Productions has been able to like change up the animation for the goals each week. I really really like that, um, and I really like how they spread out the narration, and I really oh man. The pro okay, let me talk about the problems with this episode. I really think there was way too much filler, especially at the beginning. The filler at the beginning did not need to be there. The beginning of the episode, filler did not need to be there. Like, if we would have had the filler that was right after the opening at the beginning, okay, that would have been fine. That And the, I, I think that would have been a little bit better. Um... Then the other, th the and then the other thing I had a problem with was the Wakabayashi content. Why was that there? That did not make any sense for the Wakabayashi content to be there. It's just like it was there for the sake of being there. Um, because what could have been there instead? And by the way, where we ended was about like page forty-one of chapter three, um, is adaptation. What could have been there was. Um, the actual uh, technique Roberto wanted to teach them, which was, uh, where were you? Oh shit, I went too far. Um, 
Yeah, here, here it is. Wait, was it right here? No, it wasn't here. Oh no, it, no, he, they did share, do that. I'm sorry, I thought they didn't for a second. Okay, so we were fine over, so as long as that content was there, that's fine. Um, I think just the Wagabayashi content was just there for the sake of being there. That didn't make any freaking sense. I did not like that being there. Um, but yeah, I think the content that was after the opening song should have been in the very beginning before the opening song. It would have been a lot better. And then the other thing that just really bothered me, and I'm really scared that David Productions is going to go in this direction, is Sané just being there. Like, why? Sané, Sané, um, yes, yeah, Sané can be annoying. Yes, she can. But Sané is kind of supposed to be, like, if you read Haikyuu, um, Sané is kind of like Tanaka's sister in a way. Yes, Tanaka's sister can be a little bit annoying. But Tanaka's sister, but she's like a really supportive, um, in the cheer, she's supportive when she needs to be. But like the way David Productions is using Sane right now, it makes me hate her. It's gonna, I know it's gonna make me hate her, just like how Shokogeki no Soma, the first part of season three, really hated, made me start to hate, um, uh, it really made me hate Megumi because what they're doing here is they're trying and oh my god and Gaku and babysitters did the same thing is they're trying to force the ship between um uh Tsubasa and Sane and the thing is Tsubasa doesn't give a fuck about Sane just just leave it because the thing is and this is why I like Yamushi Petal and Major Second so much is is that they don't give a fuck about ships for the most part. Just let them do their thing. Just leave them alone. And the same with Haikyuu. Haikyuu, they don't give a fuck about the ships either for the most part. Just let them let them do their thing. Because what you're going to do for is, um, for the fan, uh, especially for the manga fans, is you're going to make them really hate Sane. And I really don't want to get to that point. But goddamn, I, like, I can't believe, David Productions, don't, don't do this. I'm just like concerned because you're because the pacing of this episode was really really slow I I was I was kind of okay with like the uh, for the school put introduction I was kind of okay with that um but I don't know if it was necessary to be honest like some of the stuff I didn't think was necessary Cause I just fucking a, I just want to get to the tournament already. Like we're not even. I yes, I know. Um, we have like fifty-five pages in chapter three. Or fifth, sorry, fifty-four pages in chapter three. And there are characters I want to get to. And we got like, we got two weeks. Uh, like at the end of chapter three, you had two weeks before the official match. I want to get there already. Fuck, I want to get to, like, chapter 10 by episode 10. Like, I was hoping we were going to go, like, we were going to do, like, a chapter a week. I don't understand. Like, that, we're, we're behind schedule. So, what I'm hoping for next week, and I'm sorry this video is long because I just got a little frustrated. What I'm hoping for next week is we're going to get the rest of chapter 3 done, and we're going to get um, a good chunk of chapter 4 done. That's what I want. But, seriously... David Productions, please do not pull a Studio Periot. Please, just don't do so much filler. You have over 50 episodes. Just do filler where it needs to be. Don't do unnecessary shit. Please, for the love of God, just don't do it. We want to get to the... We, especially in the beginning, why? We, you can, we just want to get to the tournament. We just want to get there already. Just please, for the love of God, please just don't do it. Anyway, let me know your guys' thoughts either in the comment section below or in the Nerdy Kids Inc. Discord. Like, what do you, um, which, by the way, the link is for that's in the description box below. What do you guys think of this episode? Are you guys really hyped to see the, the injuries um, in uh, the, the, the injuries being portrayed? God, that's so good. He's so cool. Are you guys, like, worried about 
uh, did you guys are you guys like did you guys feel the filler at all in this episode or are you guys kind of pissed off about the pace? Are you guys kind of getting annoyed about the pacing? What do you guys think about the Block of Ayashi, random Block of Ayashi content being here? And what do you guys think about Sane? Like just randomly being, here, just annoying the fuck out of everybody. Like I'm, it's making me hate Sane. I don't know what you guys think. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in, um, again in the comment section below or the Nerdigan Zinc Discord. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to my channel expansion, there's a few ways you could do that. You can donate to my PayPal, Patreon, or purchase something off my Amazon wishlist or um, donate to my GoFundMe. Uh, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and find me on PlayStation Network. All that's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye!